Hello friends and welcome to another beautiful rainy day. <laughs> Hi Rue. I had the coziest morning. I was able to just sit and write and enjoy my tea, which just is always the best way to start my day. My only plans for the day are to read and to relax and I'm going to enjoy it to the utmost of my ability. Because you're supposed to say something after utmost, right? Utmost of blank. Or could it stand by itself? I'm not sure. I do hope to do some repotting of some plants. So one of my plants, Skip, had just a terrible tragedy occur in February and um, he lost two of his limbs and I was able to put those in a cup of water and they've just been sitting on the kitchen windowsill for five months and they've sprouted roots. So Skip officially has an offspring and I would love to plant them in a cute tea mug as well as potting some other plants that I just haven't gotten around to repotting or putting in their actual pots. And of course, I plan to take Rue on a rain walk and eat lots of yummy, heartwarming food. Yes, today we are just relaxing, unplugging and relaxing. I mentioned in a previous video that I had some pretty exciting brand partnership opportunities. I am so excited to say that I am partnering with Book of the Month for the reading portion of this video. So if you're unfamiliar with Book of the Month, it's this wonderful book subscription company that's been around since 1926. They offer five new releases each month and members get to pick one of these five to be shipped directly to their home. Of these five new releases, they typically include early release novels and a lot of times they feature debut authors which I think is amazing. A membership is $15 a month, and say there's a month when you're just not keen on any of the books they have to offer, you can skip that month with no penalty or charge. That being said, if there's a month where there's multiple books that you would like to have, you can add up to two add-ons. And if you do decide to sign up, then you can get your first month for $9.99 with the code SUN5. I'll leave the link to their website down below in the description if you're interested in joining. This month, they've sent me all five of their June picks. Oh my goodness. And in spirit of keeping up with positive change and carrying that momentum forward and just doing my part to be more inclusive and do better, I'm really excited to read The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Of the books they've sent me, this is the one I'm most looking forward to reading and will be enjoying today in this video. This story follows two black twin sisters as they run away from home and somehow end up separated and leading two totally different lives. From my understanding of the summary, one sort of escapes the black prejudices of her past and passes for white, while the other ends up back home in the same southern town that she tried to escape. I've read the first chapter and their hometown is a place called Mallard and it's made up of predominantly colored people who appear white. So there's this form of racism within this black community where the whiter you are, the better and they're kind of all obsessed with whiteness. I follow Britt Bennett on Instagram and I encourage you to do the same. I really like her content and from the first few pages that I've read, her writing is really great and I'm just looking forward to diving into this book. The other book from their June collection that I'm most excited about is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. This is a debut novel and I'm most intrigued by their short description of it. Book of the Month says take the best parts of The Bachelorette and mix them with your favorite rom-com, add a dash of sweet wisdom, and stir. I don't know about you, but that sounds wonderful. So I will definitely be reading this one next. They've also sent A Burning by Mega Majumdar, which is a story that warns about using social media in a careless way. It takes place in contemporary India and follows the lives of three characters as they attempt to climb the social ladder. It involves violence, politics, and tragedy. I think it will be a very sobering read. And then we have a thriller, The Last Flight by Julie Clark. I have never read a thriller. I came really close in reading Sharp Objects, but um, I never actually got around to it, so this would be my first ever thriller. Lastly, I have Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, who I understand is a fourth time featured author by Book of the Month, and this is just a creepy haunted story about a woman who inherits her haunted childhood home and um, really spooky things that go on there, I think. So we'll see if I read this one. <laughs> I don't think I'm brave enough. So friends, go ahead and get cozy, grab your hot tea, your cup of coffee, your favorite cozy blanket, and let's get reading.
to bold And I don't want to be sitting alone in a room that's just filled with my soul And so I came to this place I'm looking for a familiar face and that's when I saw you